Hello folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome in to Erwin and all of the Raiders. What a great way to kick off the stream. Thanks ever so much, Erwin. If you're new to the channel, my name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here outside of West Hill, which is a medieval town that I've been working on here for three and a half years. And uh, we talk about it a lot on the Spawn Chunks podcast which you can find wherever you get your favorite podcasts. It's all about Minecraft. Myself and Pixel Riffs break down the Minecraft news every week. And we talk about what we're doing, uh, what the community is doing, all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, if you're here from that raid, drop a follow, maybe refresh the stream so that you're watching on my channel. The Extra Eyeballs does a great deal to help me out. Also want to give a shout out to Dan Grice, who subbed at Tier 1. Thanks so much, Dan. Always good to see you here. And to Mind Trip Media, who has, surprise, kicked off the stream with 100 bits. Thanks very much, Mind Trip. I'm, I'm obviously just teasing. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Uh, your consistency is, is noted and, and very welcome. Uh, We're going to have to sleep here in a minute because the sun is going down. We are going to pick up where we left off, though, on the farm. The lilac and, I guess, pitcher plant. I, can, I always struggle to remember the name of these things. The pitcher plant farm so we'll continue with the field planting and the building i think i'm going to focus on the building a little bit more today because i want to uh, flush this out more so on the grounds like i kind of want to figure out what's happening around it and all that before we start worrying too much about what's going to go inside i might throw in a couple inside blocks just to make sure we've got room for things like the chimney and all that kind of stuff do, 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 do. Uh, Erwin, nice to see you too. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, full of pancakes and coffee, which is how I like to spend my Saturday. Grandpa Crafter, good to see you as well. Uh, what do we need? Probably need to kill, kill the shaders so I have some frames back. I guess we'll just go in and take a look around. And make some decisions i do like the spruce frame so we're going to keep that i think I, I definitely don't know about the cobblestone i feel like i need a higher contrast between that and the roof i also feel like the roof is going to need maybe some tile trim or something unless we use the um bricks as the trim and then we use cobbled deep slate as the rest of the roof but if that's the case then the cobblestone on the bottom is really going to have to go um yeah i think maybe we should flush out where the chimneys are gonna go and then we'll bring some coarse dirt up here for some pathing and stuff i also want to see if there's ever some window boxes maybe we can put some flowers or something here it is a flower farm after all twisting your brain with a diagonal medieval house in minecraft today Almost done with all of the exterior now. That's cool. Diagonal diagonal houses are difficult. I've not done many, but I've done a few. Where is a diagonal house? There's one there. I tend not to do like pure diagonal houses. I tend to do like stepped. They're not really pure diagonal. Although there's a couple. One of the barns out here is on a diagonal. That one is too. This was the first one I ever tried and it took forever the barn over there all right coarse dirt bushes let's get some trap doors on the go i know you're surprised you're shocked i'm gonna grab some andesite maybe and some tough And I don't think I need the details of those right now. What was the other thing I wanted? Deep Slate. Uh, 
That should be good. Yeah, the roofing on a diagonal build is definitely tough, Erwin. I agree. Challenging when you're first trying it out. I find it's easier to do blocks than it is stairs. That was stairs, and that was a problem. The one over here is hay bales and mixed blocks, so that worked out a lot better. I think the trick for me for with diagonal bills... Well, here, let's just go fly over and take a look. I feel like the trick for me, the real eureka moment, was to have the walls at the end be higher than your roof by just a little bit. And I think that made a huge difference. It kind of caps everything and makes it work really well. Same thing here. The, the ends, even though the ends are on an angle, they're just a little bit higher than the roof. Yeah, the 45 degree angle is pretty easy. These ones are more challenging. Um, this one, it's like 30 degrees. And it's really, really hard to make look right. Plus, you've got, like, difficulty trying to fit the door in. Like, there's all kinds of stuff. But I just realized that this is empty. Crap. Something else i got to put on the to-do list. Since we're up here, let's see what this would look like if we added in cobblestone. Or cobbled deep slate, I should say. Am I still on? I am still on a very low POV. I was like, what is going on? So we'll do a little bit of the roof like this. And then the other part, we'll try a different way. Oh, is that right? That's right. What I want to do up here is change this to tile and see if I like the darker better. Flux Synthesis. I have a friend who really loves to build with Deep Slate. Very cool. I like it. A Deep Slate's a fun, it's a fun block. Uh, it's also still kind of new in my brain. I know it's been a couple of years, but I feel like it. it's still something that I've not built a lot with, especially because most of West Hill, like Deep Slate really didn't become a thing until we started working on the West side. So there's hardly any deep slate over here because that was all done before it dropped. And then it started to started to come in around the time we were moving to the the west. Did I say east? I, messed, I meant west. Let's try this on this side just because we can. And we'll combine this with the tile. See if this looks better. I find that something is... Um, that I, I lack sometimes in builds is that I want more contrast. And I shy away from it sometimes. Because sometimes contrast in Minecraft is just so high that it's uh, too harsh. Take care, Erwin. Thanks again for coming by. I appreciate you sending over your viewers. Very kind of you. And uh, we'll see you next time. Folks, if you haven't already, uh, fill in that little follow heart at the top of the chat. If it's not still there, then you can go and follow Erwin, E-R-A-W-Y-N underscore on Twitch. Check out to see what they were up to. And drop them a follow. If you like what's going on. Follows are free. And it helps creators out a lot.
Speaking of, you're all following me, right? Right? <laughs> Awkward pause. Everyone scrambles. Four new follows in the next two minutes. <laughs> I'm not above shilling for follows. I had a good laugh when we were making that joke on the spun chunks where Pixel Riffs was digging out the hole and he spelt out subscribe, <laughs> like and subscribe in the in the dirt, at the, in the stone. That was great. Classic. Oop, not that way. That we'll have to deal with. So... Oh, well, maybe not easy to look at with the scaffolding in the way. Weast is the common direction between west and east. <laughs> Some just call it north or maybe south, depending on which hemisphere you're in. Yeah, sorry about the screenshot POV. I was rushing to take a screenshot before um, I launched the stream. So we definitely do not have enough contrast between the bricks and the cobbled deep slate. That to me needs to change. Uh, and I also don't think we have enough contrast between the tile and the bricks. So I think the winner is probably gonna be on the back. It's probably gonna be the tile and the cobbled deep slate. Yeah. I think that works out a little bit better. And I'm curious, maybe we'll, instead of stairs, maybe I'll use blocks in the roof because it'll give me a little bit more freedom on the textures. I could also make it look like it's sagging if I use blocks on the sides and then brought it down. So I think maybe we'll try that. And that means I could also get some tough in the roof too which will break up the deep slate. I'm doing well, Trinoob. Doing well. It's been a fun day so far. Okay. So I'm good with the deep slate up there. Let's just try... Do I bring blocks? I have blocks. I've got slabs. Okay, let's just try a little section of this to see if we can make this. Oops. Look good. Tough at this scale. That covers up that hole anyway, so that's good. We may actually want to put this back here. And then I don't have a tile block, so do that. It helps a little bit. We don't have tough stairs yet, which is annoying. They're coming. Not for a couple months yet. One day I'll remember that you can't jump off of scaffolding. It doesn't really work, does it? I guess we could just throw in a couple of bricks here and there. 
to keep it a little bit um, different. So like maybe like here, we can just throw in one and then maybe up here. It's a small house. Whoop. Uh, there. So we don't have a lot of room for textures. Sorry to hear that, uh, noob. But it sounds like you're taking it all in stride. Yeah, that's not bad. And then maybe we'll just switch this one here on the end. I think that works. I might not go with that up there, but we'll we'll see. Another raid. Holy nuggets. Two raids in 20 minutes. How do I say your name? Is it Hof? Like Loaf, but with an H? Thanks ever so much for the incredible raid. 142 people. Wow. Welcome in, everybody. This is a name that's that's relatively new to me, so I'm, I'm going to get somewhere high where people can see what I've been up to. Thanks ever so much for coming in. Hoof would be the closest, you think. Okay, well, hoof, hoof it is. I prefer that. <laughs> that's easier. Easier to remember. Hoof like hoof on a horse, right? Uh, thank you ever so much for the raid. Wow. Uh, welcome in, everybody. Uh, I just got done explaining to some some new folks, but I'll explain it to you as well. Uh, my name is Joel Duggan, as you probably gathered from the name on the channel, and I stream Minecraft and do podcasts full time. You may recognize my voice from the Spun Chunks podcast. I do that every Monday with Pixel Riffs. You can find it wherever you get your favorite podcasts. I also do the Sigil Cafe. It's a sci-fi and fantasy podcast. So if you like one, you might like the other. And uh, I've been working on this medieval town for three and a half years. All of it is cataloged and in VODs on YouTube at Joel Duggan VODs. And we are currently working on this little farmhouse on the lilac and pitcher plant. I got the name right. Farm that we just started yesterday. So like we just we're in the early planning stages of a project. So you come in at the right time. Uh, folks in my chat, if you have not already, please go visit Hoof's channel and uh, check them out on Twitch. Drop them a follow. And thank you again ever so much for the raid. That's awesome to bring in so many people. So yeah, we're filling out this crossroads. Uh, you might be able to see better from the map that it's pretty bare through here. So we're trying to make the approach to the town feel a little bit more populated with some farms and stuff like that. Not crazy difficult builds, just I'm a detail-oriented person, as you can see. And so we're trying to get things, get things right. But it's been a pretty fun project so far. And spans like several Minecraft updates now. We were just talking about when Deep Slate first got uh, added. Poof says, I've been lurking every now and again and seeing the progress on the city. Absolutely amazing to see how it is progressing. Thanks very much, Hoof. That's very kind of you. Uh, what is the blue lake with green in it? Uh, that would probably be the swamp. You mean this? That's probably the custom marsh that I did. So it's all mud, muddy mangrove roots, water, uh, seagrass, azalea bushes, and it's all done by hand. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> and if you're thinking, this took a long time, double it. <laughs> Just whatever, however long you think this took, it took twice as long. <laughs> uh, the Maddie, thank you very much. I'm glad you like it. I like it too. We did a small one over here. We did a small test first to see if it actually worked. And uh, it did. I quite like the way that this turned out. So this was the, do I really want to make this bigger? And it was like, yes, this looks really cool. But then knowing that it was three or four times the size um, was a little bit daunting. <laughs> Oh, detailed builds always take longer, yeah. And I'm in no rush, right? Like, if I rush through this, I'd just be cannibalizing my own content, right? So, of course, I'm going to do things um, a little bit more 
I guess, thoughtfully. So, uh, we have to figure out what we're going to do for the walls here. And I've got a funny feeling that I'm not going to want to do andesite and stone just because that's what the walls of the town are made of. And I don't think it's high contrast enough. So, I will be definitely wondering what blocks we can use. Again, I do like the spruce. So, we might have something like that going on. So, there's it's going to be pretty dark in there. So, I don't know if stone and andesite are really going to sell it. I feel like we're going to have to go with something a little bit brighter. And not cobble, because cobble competes with the cobblestone in the roof. Oh, I should bring up the example that I was using. I found a cool image on Pinterest. Uh, let's see if this is going to work. Nope. I have to reset this every time I stream, which drives me crazy. It's like there's a version of the browser. It's like the 44th launch versus the 43rd launch. And so um, the, this, the stream OBS doesn't know what to do with it. Uh, center. So I have a Pinterest page. It's Joel Duggan Art on Pinterest. And I just use this for reference for builds. And I want to say it was under houses for medieval. Yeah, there we go. So this is the one that I was roughly kind of like putting my own spin on. And they did use a lot of cobble, but it's cobbled down the bottom. Yeah, I don't know about that. The good news about using something that has stairs is that we could use, obviously, stairs over doors and things. Hmm. What other blocks could we use that are not gray? Yeah, I've got tough in my inventory too. But tough is going to be even less contrast, right? Got some work done on new hallways in my Hall of Fame for viewers. Oh, that's cool. I don't have anything like that on the Citadel. Crystal Cave Hallway. That's fun. We do most of that stuff in the Nether. Most of our kind of weird hallways. We've got our Nether color coded, so like West is sandstone because that's where the desert is. North is like stone and ice because that's where the ice spikes are. And then south is dark oak and east is swamp. And so green, brown, white, and blue, like all that kind of stuff. Ah, oh, what other blocks could we use? I had this issue with this over here as well. Well, I should put stone bricks on the chimneys because that's probably what the chimneys are going to be. And then we can find another block to contrast. But I'll show you if I put some tough in here, you'll probably see quite quickly it's not quite as high contrast as you think. I mean, in a way, it's kind of a cool shadow looking block. So we could do this. This could be pretty standard, right? Nothing too out of the ordinary there. It's a very small scale, but I'm not overly taken with that. Didn't bring any stairs, but that's fine. And we have another chimney back here.
This one might actually have campfire on it. That could be fun. So we'll have some smoke going up. That has to be a little bit taller. I think they both need to go up by a block. This free cam thing is so handy. Mm -mm -mm. All right, what blocks can we put in the walls? Maybe we can do terracotta in the walls? Or maybe I do have acacia out here. For anybody that just came in that's new, I do have a number of data packs and performance mods on the server. We try not to alter the vanilla gameplay too much, but things like UI, crafting recipes, a couple things have been changed, uh, but there's only a handful of custom textures. Uh, for example, purple ender chest, but like, I don't try to change too many blocks that I can build with. I think the big ones are my note blocks, our crates, and the hay bales are um, a nicer color than vanilla, but that's it. It's not much more. Oh, and uh, coarse dirt slabs. That's the uh, petrified oak slab. Uh, do, 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 do. If I go either concrete powder or terracotta. Terracotta is going to be too dark, I think. Concrete powder and gravel and andesite, maybe? Full inventory. Who had 33 or 35 minutes or less? No worries, Hoof. I, uh, I appreciate that uh, you have to lurk after a long stream. Thanks for bringing over your peeps. And uh, have a good afternoon. I feel like we could do some function here. Is this a block to the outside? It is. Hmm. I was thinking about maybe putting like a little wood wood cubby here. So I feel like this is probably going to be too gray, but we'll find out in a second here. does take away a lot of the stone feel. Yeah, not high contrast enough. And if we go all like gravel and stuff, then we have to be careful about how to suspend it, right? Oh, come on. That's a little bit better.
I'm still not entirely convinced about the uh, the wood. I do have some stairs. I'm really just kind of shooting from the hip here. I feel like somewhere in the middle is probably the best. Yeah. That's not bad. It still feels very flat. I almost want to bring this out farther. a little bit better. Something orange like acacia would be a little bit too bright, I think, for the um, the aesthetic I'm going for. Like, I'm thinking this is not a super rich individual. I'm trying to keep it more in the worn down sort of look. I'm not so sure about that either. Maybe we need to... I like the, the window. I'm not crazy about that. I think because of how uh, busy the roof is for texture, I think we need to go with a simple a simple wall i just don't want it to be the same as the wall over there right we're limited with minecraft sometimes i don't want to do calcite because we have a white house over there Try wool. That might not work either. No, I've already got a diorite sort of vibe over here, so I'm trying to um trying to stay away from white. Also, diorite's pretty noisy. Yeah, I want something lighter. Not darker, so lighter than wool. I guess my real, my only option might be stone. Oh, what about the profession blocks? We might be able to get a little contrast going if I used furnaces, maybe. And what's, there's nothing that's really like cobble. Maybe we need to go all andesite.
and just pepper it with some lighter stuff. I'll go and use the back side because that's the roof side that I like. This is the roof that I like. So that feels too fancy, unfortunately. Maybe we just do cobble on the bottom. And I guess this would have a pillar here, wouldn't it? Oh, that doesn't really work there. It might be easiest just to do all andesite and then maybe layer in some details. Overlap it with bushes and stuff. And to lighten this up, or darken that. I'm wondering if it's not the this that's bugging me. It's maybe this contrast. Maybe this is going to be either lighter or darker. So that's too dark with the roof. I mean, I don't want to lose all the wood, but we could bring the uh, deep slate down. It's not bad. Certainly a better contrast left to right. You know, like that's a better read than that. Let's see what other wood I have. Uh, there's also polished deep slate. You're right. Um, the matey. Um, how do you pronounce your name, by the way? Is it the maid or the matey? Uh, there is light gray concrete powder over there. I did that. Yeah. Um, don't want to do bone block. Do 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 do. Maybe stripped dark oak or mangrove. Do I have mangrove out here? I don't think I do. Just a little bit in here somewhere. First, I need space. Man, it keeps on raining, but hard here. And uh, I want to go to the gym after stream. And for those folks that don't know, I usually walk to the gym. And uh, man, I don't want to walk in the rain. Oh, right. This is hard to do. It's better contrast. I actually quite like that.
keeps it dark but works well and then if we find it too dark i could always layer something on top of it like a ladder mm -mm. oh right i didn't try the strip dark oak where's the ladders I think that goes better with what I'm looking for, which is more of a rustic farmhouse. This again feels very polished. I think some of that has to do with the fact that I've used dark oak a lot in the fancier part of town. So, you know, like big buildings like this, I think we'll try and keep it on the rough side. And then I'm just curious. It's kind of a nice transition along the way there, maybe. Maybe not on both sides, maybe just like above the trapdoors. Yeah. that works maybe on the inside we could have a little bit more of a window cubby yeah I think I like that uh, I think and then we can play with some tough every now and again in here. Or maybe we can't. See, the problem here is that it's a different tone. Uh, sorry, different hue. It's, um, this is very blue and this is very warm. I say very, it's subtle, but my, my brain goes, nope. Uh, stone. such a small build we might just have to keep it very very simple i think i like that better than the cobblestone i don't like bundles at all insane value they're they are really not much use to me because you can't you still can't empty them into your inventory unless you've got the space for it, right? Bundles are not... Bundles are great early game, but for me as a builder, they are not that useful. They're great on things like Hermitcraft for stamps and that kind of stuff, but not something that I am super excited about. They're not even in the game anyway. They're, they're still in experimental features. So get rid of that. Don't need those.
it's dark, it'll hopefully look a little bit better with some some foliage and stuff in front of it. We can brighten it up maybe with some flowers or something. Uh, just to see what that contrast looks like. Oh yeah, we can brighten this up, I think. We can brighten this up. Okay, well that's the palette on the outside, I think, sorted. We can add some cracked and some mossy and stuff in there. I think that'll look good. Uh, wood pile here. Inside the chimney. Path. Gonna be different. Chimney there. All andesite and blocks there. Change this. That means we can frame this door a little bit better, which is good. We might even be able to get away with all bricks around the door. Whoops, not that. Probably a stair. Now I gotta figure out the inside. Yeah, you know what? I think I like this going all the way around and we'll just kind of nudge it yeah okay good Oh, Maddie, oh, that's a cool one. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, tough. Need to go get more mangrove. I mean, we have some it's just in the storage room. And... Good for those. All right, more mangrove.
best use for a builder is a place to store all of the micro blocks you only have like two to eight of. Yeah, I use shulker boxes for that kind of stuff. That's why I have like a shulker city in the middle of the crossroads there. Mangrove. We've got some. Grab that. And don't need birch, don't need that, don't need any of that. That's not going to be needed, I don't think. We didn't try clay. That might be too bright, also too blue. I don't see anything jumping out at me here. Okay. I think that's it. It's just the mangrove. I've got all the other things out there that I would need. I don't think the inside flooring is going to need anything special. We can at least make a dent in the wood trim. Actually, you know what? Before I get carried away with all of this wood stuff, I should probably double check that the inside is the right measurements. Actually, you know what? If we can't see that bottom piece, I'm not going to make it mangrove because mangrove is a real pain to get so we'll keep these bottom pieces spruce because they're going to get covered up anyway okay i think that works for me we'll have to maybe try something different up here i think the mangrove would be better It needs that darker wood tone. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe that has to be andesite. I don't know. However, inside, uh, what do we want to do for the floor? It's a farmhouse, probably wood. So th maybe this is where we do our spruce, our typical spruce paneling. Don't necessarily want to make it dirt. I feel like that works. We'd have to choose different colors for the tables and stuff. And all of this. Two Pro Fezor or Fezor. Thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, mangrove is a real pain to chop down, I agree. Uh, I knew I was going to need basalt for something. Crap.
I feel like that works. Okay. I need to stick to these bricks, folks. If you are new to the channel, as I think many of you are, thanks to the lovely raids from uh, Hoof and from Erwin, I take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to reheat my coffee and uh, fill a glass of water. Grab a snack, grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming, and I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
so we have the mangrove, and now I just have to place a few things inside to make sure. Ooh, that's a lot of a lot of mobs I don't want to deal with right now. Dear Creeper, please stay away from all of the very soft, very explosive things that I spent several hours getting just right. One slab. I'll take it. They're all over the place today. How did I screw that up? Skeleton won't move. I'm not worried about him. Okay, inside stuff. Mangrove stairs. Extra planks. Feel like a smoker would look good in this particular build. And I guess we'll have just the same floor throughout. And then we'll switch to a lighter block in some places. Yeah, that's definitely a dark spot. I'm AFKing just far enough away. If I AFKed out here, maybe in there, maybe there wouldn't be quite as many creepers and stuff. Right, so we, we know that we want a table or something there, but first I'm going to have to do the floor. So that's where there's going to be a table. So maybe we'll put something like that there. This I think this is where I want to put the stove. Yeah, because that's where the chimney is, right? Yeah. So I was thinking a smoker. And then we could add a wall to that. That's all going to be like a table and chair type situation. I think that works. And then bedroom, same thing. I guess we'll just start like that. I 
Now, where would the bed be? I guess the bed would be... Probably in the corner. So we could put a table there. Five slabs. Bed. Table. Could put a chair in the corner, maybe. I'll come back with the proper blocks. And, well, hmm, maybe we'll put a table in the window with a flower on it or in it. And then this could be like a bookshelf, perhaps. Or I don't know. We could also just have a chest there. Maybe that's the thing. We just have like a regular chest. Or that could be over here. That leaves that kind of open. All right, we can figure that out. That works. Yeah, I don't think I have to change anything. So I'm, I think I'm good to start doing the final textures because I don't feel like I have to move anything. And I'd like to get the roof finished so I know what the, the ceiling inside is going to look like. So we might as well get cracking on that. Uh, do you find interiors more difficult or smaller uh, on smaller houses and buildings? Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely harder. Definitely harder. Oh, I wanted to make that higher, didn't I? Oops. All right, so we know we're keeping the trim. I guess technically this would be the tile. Does that go right over the door? Interesting. That may or may not be a good thing. Oh, I didn't bring any tile blocks. Crap. Scotsman. Nope. Coming in with an Elkhorn raid. The mighty Elkhorn raiding with a party of 19. Thanks so much, Elkhorn. Great to see you. Appreciate it as always. Folks, if you're not already, go and follow Elkhorn95. They play on Infinity Cove, which is my patron server with a bunch of other like-minded nerds. Good times had by all. And uh, I really appreciate the raid, Elkhorn. Thanks very much. I think we're good. Calberti, hello. I'm doing well, thanks. Doing well. Making a lot of progress in a short amount of time on this farmhouse. Everything's coming together. I feel like the three years of experience building in this style, uh, not that you'd think that my three years of experience walking around on a roof is showing off anything, but uh, I feel like it's starting to all come together. Where's the door? That's the door. So this may not work, but we'll see. Let's 
This may feel a little bit strange. A bed closer by too. I'm gonna to go grab that and move that over. And it's raining. That's fine. Had a really good stream, says Elcor95. Finishing up a Viking style in build from a viewer redeem. I got it completed as well as some riverside landscaping around it. Hey, that sounds like my kind of stream, Melkorn. That sounds awesome. Good stuff. And uh, for folks that don't know, I know this because Elkhorn shares a lot of their progress in the uh, Spawn Chunks Discord. And uh, were you using any reference, Elkhorn? Like uh, what I find so cool about what Elkhorn has been doing lately is um, they use a lot of uh, reference art that's not Minecraft and then convert it. Oh, not that. And so it's like inspired by, you know, a, a cool build. And then it's like their own take on it. Wow, no, that was expensive. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm on the stairs. Tile stairs. So I got a funny feeling this ridge part is not going to be something I like, but we'll see. Up close, it really is hard to see the difference between the tiled uh, bricks. Now that all the hard decision making is done, this is just a matter of filling in the, the blanks, color within the lines. Oh, I never thought about the polished ones. Sorry, well, we've committed. <laughs> I've made the decision now. We'll stick to it. Do you not see the tiled bricks as a lot darker? They feel halfway between deep slate and blackstone for me. Oh, I want them darker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I we switched to the deep slate tile because it was a better brick, better contrast. What I was trying to do. That's why. Don't know if I'm going to make a window there or not. It's 
certainly brightens up the place. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to do those blocks there. Well, I guess if I continue it, it won't look so bad. Maybe I have to do this. It just feels so big. Maybe this has got to be an upside down uh, andesite block. We'll worry about that a little bit later. Hmm, inside wall. Does that have to be stone? I guess it could. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, it's a little bit different. I don't mind that break, actually. I think that works. That means we can make this all andesite as well. Now, do I want slabs there or do I want stairs there? Well, first I have to get that block right. Hmm, I think I like slab. See, that feels like a weird transition, so I feel like we might have to get rid of this. And go straight into site. And then that feels weird too. In the example that I like, they had some cool stuff uh, hanging out the front here, like the chains is a neat idea. And they did this cool framing thing as well. That'd be a fun thing to try and incorporate if I can. I guess the chain thing could go there. I don't know. I'm not sure if that makes it look too fancy. I could do the framing thing. It would mean that this would probably have to go to a stair. I don't know about that. Might be a little bit too focused on the details there. At this stage, we'll just let that sit 
and see if I can come up with anything else. Oh, that's going to mess with stairs. All right, let's do this for now. I need to get up there. So we'll fill in this. Oh wait, that's supposed to be a full block, isn't it? I used them all, jeez. Instead of a full inventory, I'm half empty. Yeah, the window framing on that build is cool. It, it's definitely worth stealing. I don't know if it's gonna be something I use on this particular build, but it's definitely worth noting. Yeah, I'm making some big changes to the farmhouse with the orange roof. It's just far too large. Like when you think about how nice the scale is that I'm working on here, think about, you know, we'll go in here. Just take a, take a note of how this feels as a player walking up to it. It's got like a one room fireplace, kitchen, single bedroom. Like it feels like a little farmstead, right? But if I go over to this place, It's gargantuan, like it's absolutely massive. This is the first thing I built in the area. And I mean, obviously the data pack is not working, but like it's absolutely massive. This is the size of a hotel. So I'm gonna cut it off probably right here. I think that it's gonna be a lot smaller. I'm gonna remove the top floor, which is too bad because I like this. I'm gonna keep this, I'm just gonna move it. Um, or vice versa, maybe. I take the whole thing down, but I nudge, take all this, because I don't mind the big kitchen, and we just move all of this a lot closer to this side, right? Or we flip this and have this be attached to that chimney, and instead of having two chimneys, we just have the one. Because I feel like I really like this space, and I like that this lines up with the barn. It feels like a good workspace. But then all of this just feels crazy large. I've got a full inventory of the wrong things. Yeah, that's not too far from the truth. Wrong thing. I feel like this should maybe be full block. Maybe not on this. We'll just go straight. Uh, cobble deep slate here. And that's part of the wall. Nope. Uh, 
roof there, I guess. I don't want to put a block there. Mm, yeah, not crazy about that. Trying to texture as I go so I don't have to pop up and down to the roof constantly. go nope and am I upstairs no I don't know about the big full blocks all over the place. I think they only work in certain situations. Yeah, like I don't think they'd work here. Because so, it's just like a little dormer. And I don't know if they work in there. I guess it sort of helps. So that's a stair. So that's the outside. That works out. This can get removed, I think. And that is technically a roof part, so I have to put that back. And so here is where we can maybe get a little bit creative with some supports. Yeah, cover that up. Oh, I have to flip this. And then I guess we could maybe do one, two, three, four. Of course there's four.
probably hang the light right there. Sorry if that's making everybody dizzy. Can you see or feel an improvement in your building skills and style within the West Hill? Do you think? Oh, totally, yeah. If nothing else, I'd say it's it's the um, the repertoire, like the the things that you just commit to memory, like putting in cross beams and putting in supports and spacing for kitchens and dealing with one thick walls and how to handle roofs and have them look good, like all that kind of stuff. I think is. Um, It's definitely second nature. See, like, as much as I want to do this, I feel like it does look a little bit better going that way. But then this looks funny. So as thick as that looks, it does seem to be something that looks better to me. And I don't think I like these. These look too fancy. I'm okay with maybe the ends. Although it might be better off to do a full block rather than just to flip up. So do an actual full size block here. Yeah, it's a little chunky, but I think it works. Got to raise that chimney, though. Yeah, if anything, I'm, I'm going to find it very challenging to then move and do sci-fi stuff, right? So we have to cover that up on the roof somehow. That's most of the base texture. Oh, no, I'm missing some stuff inside. Need more blocks. Wait for night. Hello, hello. CJ, thanks so much for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your day. I think we should be able to finish the basics on this house today. Never use the clay, but that's fine. And I don't have any basalt out here, I don't think. I really want some for the fireplace. I need to make more fires, it looks like. Campfires, and I want some basalt.
I think I saw some basalt back in here. Doing well, wait for Nick, doing well. Just uh, really feeling the groove on this build, which is good. Uh, this is what I want. <laughs> 10 out of 10 flying, opening a shulker box instead of sitting, hitting a rocket. I only need one of these. And I only need two of these. And what do I not need? Do I'm trying to think about what I want to do for the chimney. Cobblestone. Yeah. We can try them both. Once again, full inventory. But I know where the basalt's going, so that's fine. And replace that. It's either that or a stair. I kind of like the uh, slab. Just works. Whoops. Might as well fill in the roof. Jeez. More more uh, skylights, as we were saying. Oh, that can't go there. Right. That's right. This is wrong. I do wish sometimes that we had stone Slab, not slabs, stone trapdoors.
Sparky the Cookie Slayer. That's a great username. Thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. I feel like that should probably be a stair. don't think those bricks work very well up high. I think I have to switch that around. There's a hole there, so I should turn this sideways. There we go. How do I feel about that ridge? Feel that I don't like it. And now I'm inside the house. Completely intentional. I didn't want to leave that block. And if you believe that, <laughs> then you are newer here than I thought. And here, I think we can just do a little slab just to kind of cover up the fact that the wall is punching through. And that helps. Yeah. Have you ever considered that the ridge doesn't like you either? Well, maybe. I like cookies as well, Sparky. I think the ridge is okay. I think it does a decent job of separating the house. Again, I have to change this uh, brick that's too high. I prefer, they're more of a shadow texture, I think. Just the old switch. Yeah, that's good. Wonder if we can get away with some polished stairs in there. That could be fun. All I have is a slab right now. Yeah, looks a little bit more like, I can't remember, I think it's called a lintel above a door. I don't remember what it's called above a window. Does anybody know? It's like a stone that bears weight. It's lintel for windows as well? Okay, cool. Smarter than I thought. Thanks, Scotsman. I did take some archaeology, not archaeology, um, architectural stuff when I was younger. I was on the fence when I was going to school as to whether I wanted to go into architecture or whether I wanted to go into art. I chose art. For those wondering, architecture would have paid a lot better. <laughs> I raised that up, didn't I? Yeah.
I guess I only brought the one campfire? I thought I brought two. I'll put the trapdoor in here for now, but I got a funny feeling I'm going to cover this up with some sort of detail. Now, I don't think, I don't think I want to do that. I think we'll go with trapdoors just on the back. I'll put the ladders back too. So I tend to try to avoid stuff like this little tangent corners when you can just add a block and fix the issue. Although that also may not be the best situation. It might be better to just go with a slab there. A weight-bearing stonificator, <laughs> technical term. Oh man, so much stuff. Don't need the tough. We might be done with the scaffold, with the roof bits for now. Just to kind of give myself some room. So I've got three different kinds of walls. I've got two three different kinds of slabs where's my stone slabs i feel like there's going to be some other houses that i've used different chimney toppers on Cobblestone and andesite seems to be pretty popular. One of the nice things about having a build this old is that you've got your own reference just kind of built in. Not a lot of slabs over this way. It's just the just the walls. There's one. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that polished is a little bit fancier, isn't it? Do you have a chimney? Oh, it's brick. Also brick. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll go with uh, cobblestone and andesite. I like the cracked brick too. Matt B, welcome in. Uh, cracked bricks. Cobblestone and andesite. We'll try the polished one just in case. For the rustic look, I think we definitely want to go this way. Uh, 
uh, let's do that. And then andesite. And I feel like this has to get bigger. as it gets lower. Sure. And of course, <laughs> I took away all my roof pieces and put them away and now, now I need them. I think that helps on the big windows. And sure. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. I don't know if we're going to need to go inside like this. No. Uh, well, no. Didn't bring the campfire either. Just as well, I wanted to change that block anyway. Finally squeak in some cobblestone. Just about finished with the the first pass. What I like to call the 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 pallet the block pallet pass. Uh, what am I looking for? This. I did put both of them in there. Weird. Now I don't have a. I didn't see a bed that would make sense. I think a gray bed. Probably a dark gray bed would be the best. I don't think I can dye carpet with the data pack. Oh, I can. Uh, probably better to dye wool. I will get more carpet. Pink bed. No. <laughs> I say that and I might actually change my mind, but I think we're going to go... that yeah i think a light gray bed would match too much the light gray carpet might actually match too much as well Maybe we'll change the blocks underneath the bed to be wool. So that it matches. All right, so we've got a hole there. So I need to go get the roof blocks again. Oh, 
this is wrong. And ladder. I think that's all the wood. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't work. Nuts. What about a full block? It might be able to work if I did a full andesite block. Eh, not the best. Might want to hang a lantern there, actually. That could help. That could help. Wait for night. Thank you. Yeah, the ladders were just kind of like a happy accident. I really wasn't paying too much attention. Tried them out, and I, it, I decided to keep it. All right, just... I need to go fix some of these holes with the roof blocks. I think that'll be the outside pretty much done as far as the first pass. Oh boy. Uh, put some stuff back first. I'm going to need more tile stairs, too. Yeah, they had a nice transition, I think, between the spruce and the mangrove. The mangrove is a little bit dark, but because the, the oak ladders have got these darker shadow bits on them, I think it does work pretty well. It does look kind of funny, doesn't it? It is asymmetrical, like I know that. I've done that on purpose. There is definitely a cave under here. That's for sure. I think I might want to ditch these blocks in the end. I think they look good from this angle, but, oh right, I got rid of that one too. I think they look dumb from this side. The build is just not big enough to really support them. I like that look much better. Oh right, this needs... A bit there, and I guess maybe some stairs. Probably the andesite stairs that I put back. Crap.
think that kind of works. Maybe we can use that framing trick. Yeah, that kind of helps. This just feels a little bit too tall. And maybe we need to move that chimney over that way. I'll tackle that tomorrow. I think we're good as far as the basics. I haven't done any texturing, but I think the overall palette is pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll move the chimney. I'll turn on the fancy cam. We'll back up a bit and just kind of see what this feels like now walking into town. Of course, I did that right at sundown. I may have to change that andesite block. It stands out just a little bit too much, maybe. Where's the closest bed? The only thing about doing the um, campfires for smoke is that they add like a level 15 light source on your roof, which feels really weird. I'd love if there was a way to do a campfire that would smolder with that wouldn't give off a ton of light. So that's not a bad height. I think it's just that's that's the andesite block that's a little bit weird. And I don't know. I I may actually want to push that higher. We can try it higher. The chimneys do line up from this space, so moving that chimney over to the left, I think, would probably be a good idea. The stone, the stone one here, without the smoke coming out of it, it does sort of look like it's smoking at this point, but I think I'd like to have it separate. And I'm not going to be able to see anything in the dark. Thanks, Cosmic. I'm glad you like it. Yep. So the scale really hasn't done anything differently than what we discovered yesterday. So I'm, I'm happy with the scale of it. I think there's enough of a contrast between the bottom of the house and the roof. And we're getting a lot of heavy shadows right now because of this time of day. But if I go over here in the sunlight, you'll see that there's definitely a contrast between the trim of the roof and the actual shingle blocks that we're trying to show. I like the little bits of texture with the brick thrown in there so it's not all the same. Feels a little bit more cobbled together, patched perhaps over the years. And when we do get a final, um, I guess, gardening pass on the outside, probably with some pitcher plants closer to it and some, um, some better positioning on the bush, we can work in maybe some vines going up the walls some mossy bricks that, that kind of stuff will help make it feel like it's been here for a while so it kind of feels plunked down right now uh, but this is the kind of scale i want these houses to be in on the farms i think they're pretty good but yeah that's gonna change i think and i'll do i'll i'm gonna let this sit for a bit i'll come back to it tomorrow I'd like to add some textures and stuff in here, but I, th I think this whole thing needs to just move, move over. We can kind of fake it. It does. This lines up with the with the stove inside, but I think that we can because we're kind of faking it. We can kind of move it around a little bit. I think this should be fine. I'm gonna add a stove pipe in here anyway, 
and do it that way. And then tomorrow we'll also do the interior, which will be like the rafters. Whether or not I want to lower this beam, which I think I might fill in the holes. Cover up some of the roof tiles, that kind of stuff. Or bring them along. We'll see what we can do. It's tough when it's only one block wide, but yeah. So there's a better look in, the, in a better time of day. Higher contrast. I'm actually, I'm liking these little flowers out front too. I might leave some of this. Maybe there'll be some flowers along the walkway here. But I like that contrast of the white flowers up against the, like the darkness of the house. Works well. It'll be a lot more manicured, obviously. Yeah. I like these stairs too. I think it makes it feel a uh, squatter like a denser shorter sturdier build it feels more piled up than than supported in in other ways i like this too i might i might steal that and put that on this side as well if i can although i guess the trapdoor doesn't work there's not enough depth for that to work there Sort of like something supporting the roof that they hadn't planned on it, right? Cool. Right on. Well, I think it is time for me to send y'all over to somebody else here on Twitch playing Minecraft. Let me just see who's live. Any mods? No suggestions. We've got... Hey, you know what? We haven't raided Griffin Prime in like... Oh, that's not Minecraft. Never mind. Oh, wait a minute. Is that Halcyon Heights? I think that's I think that's Minecraft. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, Griffin Prime. Griffin Prime is playing on Halcyon Heights, playing some Minecraft. I think you will enjoy the stream. Last time we raided, it was a good time. You can tune in tomorrow for more stuff from me. That'll be 1 o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus 4 hours. Don't forget there is the Sponge Chunks podcast and the Sizzle Cafe podcast they are both free. So why are you not listening? They're about Minecraft and cool sci-fi and fantasy stuff. You can find them all over the place. YouTube, iTunes, Google Podcasts, that kind of stuff. And uh, last but not least, check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. You get to join the Discord. It's only $2 a month, which is less than the price of a cup of coffee. Less than Twitch sub. You get to join the community the same way. And uh, you get notified when I go live. You get to hang out with a bunch of cool folks in between the streams and talk about all kinds of things, not just Minecraft. We are a multifaceted nerdy community and I think you have a good time. So I'll see you tomorrow, folks. Thanks ever so much for the support today and thank you, Cosmic, for the moderation. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.